Nicola Sturgeon faces a heated backlash from Scots as she insists those shielding from coronavirus should remain in isolation until at least July 31st. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon announced during the coronavirus briefing on Monday that her government is advising those shielding from coronavirus to remain in isolation until July 31st at the earliest. Ms Sturgeon claimed it remains necessary to protect people's health however she has faced a swift backlash regardless. Those frustrated by this announcement quickly took to Twitter to challenge the First Minister on her advice. A concerned Scotsman wrote on Twitter, Nicola Sturgeon had announced that the general shielding guidance is to continue until July 31st and frankly I am really not sure if I am okay. That is almost five months without human contact, still can't get back to work, help. Another added shielding is entirely voluntary just strong advice and guidance. They said, there is no penalty should you choose not to go by that advice. Why has this not been made clear? People are suffering from unnecessary distress and some dying. It's really an informed choice, not compulsion. Another added that the Scottish government was giving advice and not passing laws on the people shielding. A frustrated Twitter user wrote, those shielding can go out now. They don't require permission as it is only advice. Other frustrated Scots lashed out at the First Minister due to an administrative error from the government. Many Scots shielding due to coronavirus received a letter today instructing that they shield at home until June 8. Ms Sturgeon admitted this was an error, following her announcement of the July 31st date. Another annoyed woman wrote, a woman in the shielding group tells us she honestly feels like she could cry as shielding extended to end of July. Nicola Sturgeon has offered to speak to her to offer an apology for problems with letters. The First Minister's advice on shielding comes after no new coronavirus deaths have been reported in Scotland in the last 24 hours, the second day in a row the figure has remained the same. Speaking at the daily coronavirus briefing in Edinburgh, Ms Sturgeon said a total of 2,415 patients have died in Scotland after testing positive for coronavirus, no change on the previous day's figure. The First Minister said 15,639 people have tested positive for the virus in Scotland, up by 18 from 15,621 the day before. There are 1,042 people in hospital with confirmed or suspected COVID-19, an increase of 40. Of these patients, 24 were in intensive care, a decrease of 1.